Goku was fighting Whis showing his real potential and his fury before the gods. Since for no apparent reason he was betrayed by the gods and locked in a new time chamber. Since they treated all mortals as mere pawns in a chess game. After Goku raised his powers, he swore that he would not forgive the gods of destruction and would wipe them all out one by one showing his true powers of Saiyan rage. At that moment on planet Beerus, the planet of destruction of Universe 7, in the middle of the battle that Goku had with Whis to test his powers, a big explosion happens on the planet of destruction. At that moment, it is a Beerus the Destroyer that appears. Beerus says, The fun is over, son Goku. Is it me you're looking for? Isn't it? So let's settle this right now. At that moment, Goku and Beerus starts to face each other, and in the blink of an eye, Goku starts laughing. Beerus says, What's so funny? Goku responds, <laughs> that, It's not funny. In fact, before I break up with you, I just want to know why you did this to me, Mr. Beerus. Beerus responds, What do you mean? Finish me? <laughs> you can only make it a joke, son Goku. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to tear you to pieces. That time you were trapped in a time chamber ended up making no dashes, didn't it? Well then, I will answer you. I think you have the right to know the reason before being eradicated by the Destroyer. Goku got serious just watching what Beerus had to say. Beerus concludes, I was summoned by the other gods of destruction who believed you were a problem to the universes. Son Goku, you practically saved all universes from the Tournament of Power. But the real truth is that this only happened because you yourself were the creator of this great mess. If you hadn't sympathized with Zenosama at the end of the Universe 6 tournament, none of this would have happened. Goku Black's timeline was destroyed due to his body being targeted by a Makayoshin. If you hadn't found Zamasu, he would never have changed his mind and turned against the mortals. Because of you, an entire timeline was eradicated. Wherever you walk, natural wear and tear arise and promise start to happen. You must be eliminated. That was the verdict of the gods. Goku watches and speaks. How dare you? Beerus continues. But still, I was benevolent. I went against the decision of all the gods of destruction out of shred. Of respect for you for saving the Earth from Majin Buu while I was sleeping. After all, if the Earth ceased to exist, where would I eat such delicious pudding? Do you understand, son Goku? At that moment, Goku turns serious without saying a word. Whis just watches. Beerus says, What is it, Goku? Cat bit your tongue? At that moment, the entire planet Beerus begins to shake. Goku speaks. Always for snobbish reasons. Always for stupid reasons. Because of that, you think you have the right to do whatever you want with others? First, you just appeared on Earth wanting to destroy everything, saying that it was to bring balance. If I hadn't managed to reach the powers of a Super Saiyan God, the Earth would have been already destroyed. I've had enough of you, Mr. Beerus. It all ends here! Let's begin! Come and fight me! Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button and subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Great shock waves begin to rise on the planet of the God of Destruction. Goku activates his Super Saiyan Blue transformation and charges force to attack Beerus. Beerus insanely says, Super Saiyan Blue? You can only be kidding me if you think of such power level would be able to defeat me! Beerus creates a large fear of Akai energy and launches it at Goku. Beerus screams, Get eliminated, Goku! Goku and in his Super Saiyan Blue transformation hold Beerus' Akai and with both hands creating great atmospheric pressure. Goku says, <laughs> What incredible power this is! This has nothing to do with the strength that Beerus raised and showed me the second time we fought! No, it's as if, in fact, he was fighting to end my life, damn it. <laughs> Even though it's a risky fight, I can't help but get excited about this battle. Goku starts to increase his powers even more and screams. Kaya can't understand! Whis begins to analyze. Interesting. Mr. Goku is obviously not fighting with all his strength. But even showing his Super Saiyan Blue transformation, he's managed to hold a Hakai energy from Mr. Beerus. Huh. This reminds me of Vegeta when he fought in the Tournament of Power against Topo and managed to reach unimaginable levels by overcoming the Super Saiyan Blue and managed to destroy Topo's Hakai energy with a single punch. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday.
But of course, the Hakai of an Apprentice of Destruction is nothing compared to that of an original God of Destruction. Alright, come on, Mr. Goku, I want to see how much stronger you can get. At that moment, Goku holding the Hakai energy of Beerus starts to hold the energy with one hand and with the other hand he starts to concentrate a dragon attack. Goku says, Mr. Beerus, meet my new technique! Blue Dragon Fist! At that moment, the Dragon Fist is launched on Beerus with the dragon swallowing all of Beerus' Hakai energy. Beerus says, What? Impossible! We speaks. Oh, I didn't expect that one! At that moment, Beerus receives the full attack from Goku. A great smoke arises on the planet of destruction. Goku says, Come on, come on, Mr. Beerus! I know very well that this is not enough to defeat you. A laugh from Beerus erupts. <laughs> ah, this is getting very interesting. It seems that more and more I am surprised by your Saiyan race. Everyone always ends up raising their powers to incredible levels. I wonder how long you've been training in Goku's time chamber. A period corresponding to a millennium, perhaps? Know that this is not part of even 1% of my training! Beerus begins to raise his power even more, and the entire planet of destruction begins to shake. Beerus says, Get ready, Goku! Beerus charges at the speed of sound towards Goku, leaving Goku cornered. After Beerus starts landing several punches on Goku, Goku starts to run out of reaction. Goku says, Damn it! That incredible power! If this continues, things are going to get harder for me! I need to think of a quick solution! I have no choice! Beerus continues attacking and says, Didn't you say you were going to defeat me? Where is that warrior who arrived on the planet of destruction thinking he was the strongest? We starts watching and says, it looks like Mr. Beerus has the upper hand in the battle. And to think that Mr. Goku stayed for so long believing that he could win. <sighs> but this is not over yet. Who knew that Mr. Goku would be able to defeat Jiren? It was at that moment that the Great Shining happened. <laughs> at that moment while Goku received the blows from Beerus, Goku says, Enough! <laughs> Beerus retreats. <laughs> it looks like it's going to take place seriously now. Goku activates Ultra Instinct. Goku says, Enough is enough for me. Now the real fight begins. I will not forgive you. Goku was finding Wee showing his real potential and his fury before the gods. Since for no apparent reason he was betrayed by the gods and locked in a new time chamber. Since they treated all mortals as mere pawns in a chess game. After Goku raised his powers, he swore that he would not forgive the gods of destruction and would wipe them all out one by one, showing his true powers of Saiyan rage. At that moment on planet Beerus, the planet of destruction of Universe 7, in the middle of the battle that Goku had with Whis to test his powers, a big explosion happens on the planet of destruction. At that moment, it is a Beerus the Destroyer that appears. Beerus says, The fun is over, Son Goku. Is it me you're looking for? Isn't it? So let's settle this right now. At that moment, Goku and Beerus starts to face each other, and in the blink of an eye, Goku starts laughing. Beerus says, What's so funny? Goku responds, <laughs> that, It's not funny. In fact, before I break up with you, I just want to know why you did this to me, Mr. Beerus. Beerus responds, What do you mean? Finish me? <laughs> you can only make it a joke, Son Goku. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to tear you to pieces. That time you were trapped in a time chamber ended up making no dashes, didn't it? Well then, I will answer you. I think you have the right to know the reason before being eradicated by the Destroyer. Goku got serious just watching what Beerus had to say. Beerus concludes, I was summoned by the other gods of destruction who believed you were a problem to the universes. Son Goku, you practically saved all universes from the Tournament of Power. But the real truth is that this only happened because you yourself were the creator of this great mess. 
If you hadn't sympathized with Zenosama at the end of the Universe 6 tournament, none of this would have happened. Goku Black's timeline was destroyed due to his body being targeted by his Makayoshin. If you hadn't found Zamasu, you would never have changed his mind and turned against the mortals. Because of you, an entire timeline was eradicated. Wherever you walk, natural wear and tear arise and promise start to happen. You must be eliminated. That was the verdict of the gods. Goku watches and speaks. How dare you? Beerus continues. But still, I was benevolent. I went against the decision of all the gods of destruction out of shred. Of respect for you for saving the Earth from Majin Buu while I was sleeping. After all, if the Earth ceased to exist, where would I eat such delicious pudding? Do you understand, Son Goku? At that moment, Goku turns serious without saying a word. Whis just watches. Beerus says, What is it, Goku? Cat bit your tongue? At that moment, the entire planet Beerus begins to shake. Goku speaks. Always for snobbish reasons. Always for stupid reasons. Because of that, you think you have the right to do whatever you want with others? First you just appeared on Earth wanting to destroy everything, saying that it was to bring balance. If I hadn't managed to reach the powers of a Super Saiyan God, the Earth would have been already destroyed. I've had enough of you, Mr. Beerus. It all ends here! Let's begin! Come and fight me! Great shockwaves begin to rise on the planet of the God of Destruction. Goku activates his Super Saiyan Blue transformation and charges force to attack Beerus. Beerus insanely says, Super Saiyan Blue? You can only be kidding me if you think of such power level would be able to defeat me! Beerus creates a large fear of Akai energy and launches it at Goku. Beerus screams, Get eliminated, Goku! Goku and in his Super Saiyan Blue transformation hold Beerus' Akai and with both hands creating great atmospheric pressure. Goku says, <laughs> What incredible power this is! This has nothing to do with the strength that Beerus raised and showed me the second time we fought. Now it's as if, in fact, he was fighting to end my life, damn it. <laughs> Even though it's a risky fight, I can't help but get excited about this battle. Goku starts to increase his powers even more and screams. Kaioken Tungsten! Whis begins to analyze. Interesting. Mr. Goku is obviously not fighting with all his strength, but even showing his Super Saiyan Blue transformation, he's managed to hold a Hakai energy from Mr. Beerus. Huh. This reminds me of Vegeta when he fought in the Tournament of Power against Topo and managed to reach unimaginable levels by overcoming the Super Saiyan Blue and managed to destroy Topo's Hakai energy with a single punch. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday, but of course. The Hakai of an Apprentice of Destruction is nothing compared to that of an original God of Destruction. Alright, come on, Mr. Goku, I want to see how much stronger you can get. At that moment, Goku holding the Hakai energy of Beerus starts to hold the energy with one hand and with the other hand he starts to concentrate a dragon attack. Goku says, Mr. Beerus, make my new technique! The Dragon Fist! At that moment, the Dragon Fist is launched on Beerus with the dragon swallowing all of Beerus' Hakai energy. Beerus says, What? Impossible! We speaks. Oh, I didn't expect that one! At that moment, Beerus receives a full attack from Goku. A great smoke arises on the planet of destruction. Goku says, Come on, come on, Mr. Beerus! I know very well that this is not enough to defeat you. A laugh from Beerus erupts. <laughs> ah, this is getting very interesting. It seems that more and more I am surprised by your Saiyan race. Everyone always end up raising their powers to incredible levels. I wonder how long you've been training in Goku's time chamber. A period corresponding to a millennium, perhaps? Know that this is not part of even 1% of my training. <laughs> Beerus begins to raise his power even more, and the entire planet of destruction begins to shake. Beerus says, Get ready, Goku! Beerus charges at the speed of sound towards Goku, leaving Goku cornered. After Beerus starts landing several punches on Goku, Goku starts to run out of reaction. Goku says, Damn it! That incredible power! If this continues, things are going to get harder for me! 
I need to think of a quick solution! <clears throat> I have no choice. Beerus continues attacking and says, Didn't you say you were going to defeat me? Where is that warrior who arrived on the planet of destruction thinking he was the strongest? We starts watching and says, It looks like Mr. Beerus has the upper hand in the battle. And to think that Mr. Goku stayed for so long believing that he could win. <sighs> but this is not over yet. Who knew that Mr. Goku would be able to defeat Jiren? It was at that moment that the Great Shining happened. <laughs> at that moment while well, Goku received the blows from Beerus, Goku says, ENOUGH! <laughs> Beerus retreats. <laughs> it looks like it's going to take place seriously now. Goku activates Ultra Instinct. Goku says, Enough is enough for me. Now the real fight begins. I will not forgive you. Time Chamber 6. Goku finally activates his Ultra Instinct. The true level of power of the Universe 7 Saiyan who swore to defeat the gods is finally being revealed. Goku finally reached the ultimate level after being trapped for a millennium inside the Time Chamber. Goku says, Pierce the Destroyer, the end of your reign begins now. Beerus starts laughing. <laughs> Come on, Goku! I've been waiting for this for millennia! Beerus again invests in an attack on Goku, but with great dexterity, Goku with his mastery of Ultra Instinct easily dodges Beerus' attack. Goku in his thoughts says, It seems that now I can see everything. Everything is clearer. It's time. It's like the fight against Jiren. The more he attacks, the more my body moves in another direction. It seems that now I can feel everything. Goku then, with quickly dodging Beerus' blows, gives a speaking scream. Receive Beerus! Dragon Fist! Goku lands with great speed a huge punch on Beerus, causing Beerus to be thrown away for the planet of destruction. Whee's watching says, <laughs> That's amazing! So Mr. Goku was hoarding all that power, but would that be enough to get rid of the Great Destroyer? At that moment, a big explosion happens. Beerus screams rages through his mind. <laughs> Goku! Beerus charges at Goku again and again, tries to attack the Saiyan. And at the same time, Goku quickly manages to dodge. Goku begins to analyze and speaks. Weird. For a god of destruction, these attacks are very simple. Is it because my Ultra Instinct is activated? That's right. I remember that in the Tournament of Power, it was said that the Gods of Destruction have a lot of difficulty in mastering Ultra Instinct. So these attacks from Mr. Beerus may not be reaching me because he really can act that way. I was only able to activate this technique the first time because I received all the energy from the Spirit Bomb on my body. And now after training in the Time Chamber, I have gotten more stronger, my heightened senses than ever. Even Mr. Beerus isn't able to predict. Beerus begins to receive several punches and kicks from Goku. Goku says, There's no chance. You better give up and have a calm destruction. Otherwise, this will get more and more humiliating, Lord Beerus. Beerus stands in front of Goku with his eyes closed. Whis watches and says, These movements and attacks from Mr. Goku, even though they are attacks from the Mastery of Angels, I am amazed that Mr. Beerus received them full, unless... <laughs> There's no way you're going to do that, Mr. Beerus. Goku prepares to launch the last blow at the God of Destruction. Just as Goku was about to hit Beerus in the face, Beerus' hand easily grips Goku's arm. Goku says, What? Was he able to protect my movement? How? Beerus looks seriously at Goku and says, Ultra Ego. Beerus' body starts to grow with a fully purple aura. His eyes dark. And his power increases by a thousand times. We says, Oh, he really used the Ultra Ego. The Ultra Ego works in a somewhat strange way. The more hits the user receives, the more his fury increases. With the increase in his fury, the stronger he gets. Being able to increase his strength in a thousand times. Oh, it's practically impossible for Lord Goku to win now. Oh, Goku backs off and says, what? What kind of monstrous power is this? Impossible. I could never imagine someone with such strength. This power is without a doubt 
is a thousand times greater than Jiren's! At that moment, Beerus appears in front of Goku. Only the atmospheric pressure of Beerus' presence brings Goku with his ultra instinct to his knees. Beerus, without saying a word, starts to land several punches on Goku. Goku, in his thoughts, says, Damn it, damn it! Why is this happening to me? Only the pressure of his energy makes my instinct not cooperate with me! I never imagined that Mr. Beerus had such strength! This couldn't happen! Beerus says, What is it, Goku? Are you afraid? I thought you were going to defeat me. He doesn't look like the same Goku that came here. <laughs> I would never be hit by blows as bad as the ones you try to attack me. I purposely received your Ultra Instinct attack to increase my fury. Don't think Gods of Destruction is such a job title. We carried out hard training to reach these positions. And the great priest and Zerosama gave us the responsibility to bring balance to all universes. Don't think a mortal of his audacity can stop it all! Puraticate it, son Goku! Hakai! Goku receives a full Hakai energy. Goku tries to hold her and says, This power is monstrous! Damn it! He didn't imagine. Uh, that a god of destruction could have such power! Are all the gods of destruction really that powerful? Beerus says, You're finished, Goku. Earth, Universe 7. Vegeta was training at the Capsule Corporation and begins to perceive light years of tense battle going on. Vegeta says, Kakarot is back, and it looks like he's already wanted to have his reckoning with Beerus. What's going on? Beerus finally decided to show his ultra ego. What levels did Kakarot reach? When I trained with all my powers with Beerus, he didn't even use his Ultra Ego against me. <laughs> Damn it, Kakarot. I'll get over him one day. Vegeta creates a huge energy barrier at Capsule Corporation, and the entire Earth begins to shake. Meanwhile, Gohan and Piccolo carry out their training. Gohan notices and says, Father, what are you doing? Planet Beerus. Goku says, This cannot end here! Beerus says, Son Goku, I will not forgive you. After ending you, even though the Earth has a delicious pudding, I will end it, destroy it, beat to dust, sending all your loved ones to another dimension. <laughs> Goku becomes enraged and says, <laughs> Gigi, Gohan, Goten, Vegeta, Boma, Krillin, Master Kami, <laughs> Pan. <laughs> the image of all of his friends start to come to Goku's face. Goku explodes in rage. Goku says, yeah, I cannot die here! Yeah, the time has come to show the true result of training in the time chamber! Yeah! is impressed, says, Don't tell me you can handle this Akai! Goku absorbs Beerus' Akai and then launches it into the sky. Beerus observes, Goku starts screaming, and the entire planet of destruction starts to shake. Goku says, This is my true power. Goku's muscle mass begins to increase. His hair begins to grow to the size of a Super Saiyan 3, but the color of Ultra Instinct silver. Goku says, This is the second stage of Ultra Instinct that I perfected in the time chamber. Beerus says, Hmm. <laughs> Amazing, Son Goku! Goku says, Tell me something first, Mr. Beerus. Who is the most powerful god of destruction? Beerus smiles and says, <laughs> Only if you survive, then you'll find out. Since you revealed your new transformation, I'll reveal my true form to you. Beerus starts screaming. <laughs> Is he really going to do this? How far do you want to go, Mr. Beerus? Beerus activates his Akai form. Goku Ultra Ego 2 versus Beerus Akai. The final battle begins. Time Chamber 7. Goku's ultimate transformation is finally shown. Goku Ultra Instinct Level 2 versus Beerus Akai form. All the planets of Universe 7 shuddered with this battle. Whis watches and says, This fight is incredible. Every time I think that Mr. Goku has already reached his limits, he shows something new and manages to overcome himself. <laughs> now he managed to reach another stage of Ultra Instinct. 
But on second thought, nothing less than expected from my pupil. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited watching this fight. That sometimes I forget that the two will fight until the end, until their death. So I'm gonna lose one of them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's see how this is gonna end. Goku says, the final moment of our struggle is coming, Mr. Beerus. Beerus responds, regardless of everything, it will be an honor to eliminate you, Son Goku. The battle begins. The supreme power of Ultra Instinct versus the destructive power of Ultra Ego. Goku and Beerus begin to exchange several punches and large cracks between the universes begin to happen. Goku, in his thoughts as he exchanges punches with Beerus, it seems like everything happened yesterday. Even though I'm in a crucial fight, I'm happy for the pleasure of fighting. Like it or not, it made me stronger. I managed to increase my energy even more. And with that, I could see that my body would always need to be in a constant evolution so that any threat that appeared, I could face it. Since the tournament in Universe 6 where I fought hit, I could see that while Beerus and Jumpa were fighting, we were being only seen as pawns by them. And therefore, we were a laughing stock for the Celestials. I've always wondered what would happen if the celestial beings one day turned against mortals. And now the answer is more than clear. If we don't perfect ourselves and get stronger, we will be eradicated without being able to think twice and without the risk and right to redemption. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed it sooner. Goku starts throwing several punches at Beerus and Beerus, while it receiving his blows, retaliates and hits Goku. The battle continues. The battle continues. Meanwhile, several openings in time rifts continue to be created as Goku and Beerus fight. Xenosama's central palace, the great priest begins to feel an uneasiness about the universe. Aishikan says, Lo and behold, what's going on here? It looks like a battle between gods of destruction is taking place right now. What do you think, Lord Zeno? At that moment, Zeno says, Gods of destruction fighting each other without my permission. <sighs> I will destroy them now. At that moment, Daishikan says, <laughs> Let's see where this fight is coming from. Daishikan creates a large reflector and from it comes the image of the planet of destruction of Universe 7. Daishikan says, Incredible! This is all happening in Universe 7. I felt two energies of destruction, but from what I'm seeing, it's Son Goku fighting Beerus. Zenosama is fascinated and says, Oh! It's Goku! He looks like he's trying to finish off Beerus! He's even stronger than he was when he fought in the Tournament of Power, isn't it, Daishikun? Goku is my friend! Daishikun starts watching and says, It seems that for now, for some reason, Son Goku is wanting to end the Gods of Destruction. If Goku beat Beerus now, that could be a problem, wouldn't it, Mr. Zeno? A universal imbalance could be created. Zeno-sama speaks. I said I was going to destroy the two gods of destruction, but if it's Goku fighting Beerus, they're not breaking any rules. Goku is pretty strong. If he's attacking the Gods of Destruction, there must be a reason. If the Gods of Destruction are eradicated, we'll put other Gods in their place. Daishikun smiles and says, As you wish, Your Majesty. Xenosama speaks. Well done, Daishikun. But in the meantime, let's keep watching Goku's steps. He's really cool. Everything he's shown in the Tournament of Power was incredible and made us very excited. I wanted to see the beginning of this fight, but I'm sure that from now on, it's going to get much better. Kamehameha! Planet of Destruction, Universe 7. Goku lands several punches on Beerus and also receives blows from the God of Destruction. Goku says, Mr. Beerus, it's about time we put an end to this fight. That will be our end. Beerus seriously says, You've always pissed me off too much, Goku. Goku speaks, Kamehameha! Beerus says, Super Hakai! The Kamehameha collides with Beerus' Super Hakai, causing a great atmospheric pressure to be created. We says, This power is really fantastic! But these cracks in time and space, they are occurring. <sighs> I feel the fallout from this struggle could be even more fraught than we realize. Universe 6. Because the Universe 6 is the twin universe of Universe 7, many collapses that happen in these universes end up being sent from one another. Planet of Destruction Universe 6. Jumpa says, What the hell is going on, Vados? It seems like a huge pressure of energy is being released. Who's fighting who? Beerus said that he would take care of Son Goku, but I can feel a huge amount of energy being created. Uh, Vados! Vados starts laughing and says, 
<laughs> you should already imagine that Son Goku is not an opponent that anyone can defeat easily, right? Son Goku fought against several opponents in the Tournament of Power, and still managed to emerge victorious against the opponents that appeared. When the Super Saiyan Blue was not enough, he still managed to develop Ultra Instinct. Did you come to think that if you were to attack him, that he wouldn't be able to reach another stage never seen before? Serious, Champa says. Vados, you're not helping. Vados concludes. And I say more, Mr. Champa. I hope you're training hard, because if Beerus is defeated, probably the next god of destruction he will come after will be you. <laughs> Champa screams. Vados! Universe 7, Planet of Destruction. We says. Looks like it's time for the big decision. At that moment, Goku and Beerus continue to release the last of their strength in their collision of attacks. Goku increases the strength of his Kamehameha. Beerus was about to receive the attack until he increases his Super Hakai's energy. At that moment, a crack between the sky and space is opened. Goku gets scared and says, What is that? At this point, Beerus says, Receive my power, Goku! Goku receives the Hakai attack and is launched over the Temporal Rift. The Temporal Rift closes. We says, what? Sucked into a time rift? Where did Mr. Goku go? Beerus says, As expected, I win! We says, Mr. Beerus, you didn't realize that Mr. Goku had been thrown through a time rift. That certainly was enough to take his life. Beerus says, We... <clears throat> I need to recover my energies. I need to think about the next steps. We says, Alrighty, Mr. Beerus. Whis thinks. Better not tell him what I saw. Unknown galaxy between universes. Goku is heard through the time rift and it passes out. Goku says, Damn it. This time rift sucked me in. I was sure I would could win. But wait. Where am I? Goku awakened his primate powers after being trapped in a time chamber. The battle between Beerus and Goku continued on the planet of the God of Destruction and became more and more intense. Until the moment when Beerus had to use his Akai form and surprisingly had the turn around. The Akai form is known as the most powerful form of all the Gods of Destruction because the Gods of Destruction have great difficulty using Ultra Instinct. Since the secret technique has great difficulties because the user needs to have a lull in their key and in their hearts. The gods of destruction, whenever they fight, they are on a rampage, seeking to destroy everything they see. That's their mindset. In the legend of the ancient Hakaishins, the first god of destruction fought in a fierce battle against the most powerful angel. Angels have always been considered one of the strongest races in all universes. When the same ones with their calm in the heart activated the Ultra Instinct, no other being was able to touch them. In this way, the first God of Destruction created a technique that made the Hakaishins able to defeat or even match their powers of the angels. And this power was called Ultra Ego. Of the current Gods of Destruction, not everyone has this technique. But currently, the God of Destruction who managed to reach the top ranks with the Ultra Ego is called the Great Beerus the Destroyer who is face to face with Son Goku in a battle. Beerus speaks. This will be the end of you, Son Goku. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button and subscribe yet to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Goku had been startled by all the powers that Beerus had revealed. Beerus' strength, dare say, was far greater than any other being that Goku had faced. Goku was worried when he saw the strength that surpassed barriers. Beerus' energy was increasing more and more, making Goku feel every attack pressure from the God of Destruction. Whis kept watching and realized that it had been a long time since he'd seen Beerus fighting with all that strength. A God of Destruction uses his Akai form for two reasons. One is because he feels his life is in danger, or if not, his real will is to eliminate the enemy. He begins to observe and speaks. It seems that Mr. Goku has been showing extremely different skills each time. But he did not expect it that Mr. Beerus' Akai form is capable of destroying anyone. Mr. Beerus' Akai power has already destroyed several galaxies. 
beings that were extremely powerful in the past. And they were not able to defeat Mr. Beerus, Beerus the Destroyer, in his Akai form. What will you do now, Mr. Goku? Goku kept trying to dodge, but Beerus' blows were too powerful. Goku didn't know what to do, and in his mind he started talking. <clears throat> this is madness! I knew Mr. Beerus was powerful, but this goes beyond anything I imagined! Did my training for all this time in the time chain meant nothing? Damn it! Do all the gods of destruction possess this power? It can't stay like this! I can't be defeated like this! Beerus furious in his Akai form says, Oh, Goku! I thought you were going to finish me off! Looking at you that you seem like such a helpless being! Do you really think that alone you will be able to defeat the Great Destroyer? I'm already tired of your little games. Your end is close, Son Goku. Supreme energy of destruction. Super Hakai! An immense energy of destruction is launched at Goku. Goku tries to dodge it, but the energy is faster than even his own instincts. At that moment, the Ultra Instinct fails and Goku, for the first time in his complete Ultra Instinct phase, receives the full blow. Goku starts screaming on the ground in pain. What is this feeling? It's like my body is going to fall apart. I can't... Believe it! <laughs> Beerus slowly walks in front of Goku. Whis watches and speaks. Even with Mr. Goku having spent so much time training in the time chamber, it seems that it was not enough to defeat the destroyer. Hmm. But you did well, Mr. Goku. Now the question I want to know is what will your decision be, Lord Beerus? Will you trap Mr. Goku again? Or will you destroy him? At that moment, Beerus says, Goku, you fought bravely well. But from the beginning, you weren't able to defeat me. It seems that deep down, you already knew that you wouldn't be able to defeat me like the first time. But still didn't hesitate to attack me. Because you know that differently from before, I will not have pity on you. A laugh start to emerge. <laughs> Mr. Beerus, you really are funny. Did you really think I came here to challenge a god of destruction and didn't even have a plan for it? Beerus looks at Goku and says, Huh? What are you talking about, son Goku? Goku starts screaming. <laughs> Every planet of destruction begins to shudder. Whis watched with a look of astonishment, but at the same time smiling to see that Goku had even greater powers. And he knew that Goku could show even greater skills. Whis smiling says, <laughs> It seems like Mr. Goku has been surprising us as always. <laughs> Just as he did in a tournament of power when he fought Jared. Mr. Goku, you really are amazing! What level of Ultra Instinct ability did you reach? What are you really thinking, Mr. Goku? I'm sure you're up to something. Oh my. But will he be able to beat Mr. Goku with that? Mm, let me think. Apparently, Mr. Beerus has much more powers than Mr. Goku. Under full conditions, Mr. Goku would not be able to defeat Mr. Beerus, so... What is he up to? <laughs> and that's it. A trap. Goku holds onto Beerus' arms, and at the same time, despite receiving several blows from the Destroyer, Goku starts laughing. An omnipotent energy begins to surge over Goku. Beerus says, <clears throat> What are you doing, son Goku, you miserable? How dare you try to attack me? Goku says, <clears throat> It took me days, or rather, millennia on the time chamber to learn this technique. <laughs> it took me days, 
or rather millennia in the time chamber to learn this technique. The ubiquitous technique. In this way, space and I are one. It would be practically impossible for me to hit you, Mr. Purus. Of course, if you hadn't let your guard down and become so vulnerable believing that the battle was already won. <laughs> Beerus screams. Damn you, son Goku! At that moment, Goku holding Beerus' arm, teleports himself with the God of Destruction to an unknown dimension. Goku says, Well, this dimension was a distortion created between the real world and the time chamber. As you left me locked in the time chamber, you will spend some time here reflecting. By the way, I am still not able to defeat your guy for. More and soon as I adapt my powers, I will be. However, while that happens, goodbye, Mr. Beerus. Goku teletransports again to the planet of destruction and leaves Beerus locked in the empty dimension. Beerus gets furious and says, Damn you, son Goku! I never thought you were capable of this! I'll kill you! Goku arrives at Universe 7's Planet of Destruction and looks at Whis. Whis says, oh, Mr. Goku, it looks like you're momentarily defeated Mr. Beerus. What will your decision be from now on? Goku comes face to face with Whis. What will Goku's decision be? Goku comes face to face with Whis. Goku knew that he would not be able to, at that moment to defeat the God of Destruction of Universe 7 on the basis of strength. It was in this way that Goku decided to increase his powers and use the technique of omnipotence that he took years trapped in the time chamber to learn. Goku traps Beerus in the empty dimension. The God of Destruction has promised to return to settle the score with Goku. Goku returned to the Planet of Destruction. At that moment, Goku is face to face with the Angel of Universe 7. Is Goku's anger towards the Gods of Destruction or with all celestial beings? What is Goku's true goal here? Goku faces Whis. Whis says, <laughs> Mr. Goku, looks like we're head to head here. What will his decision be now that Mr. Beerus is momentarily out of the picture? Serious, Goku says. Let's settle this now, Mr. Whis. Goku talks to Whis. I have nothing against the angels. In fact, I don't understand much about the celestial rules, Mr. Whis. But I find it very strange that the God of Destruction have the right to be able to do whatever they want at the moment they want. And the angels just observe. If Zenchan and the Grand Priest don't get involved in these matters, I'll take care of the situation myself. <laughs> uh, does that mean you're going to pick fights with all the gods of destruction, Mr. Goku? Hope you get lucky and know what you're doing. <laughs> Goku teleports and says, See you soon, Mr. Whis. All the Gods of Destruction had noticed the absence of Beerus' energy. Goku returns to Earth and starts talking to Vegeta. Vegeta! Hmm? I've dealt with Mr. Beerus for now. His strength level is certainly one of the greatest among the Gods of Destruction. Now, knowing everything that happened, I'm going to finish off one by one all the Gods of Destruction. Vegeta begins to reflect and speaks. How strong have you managed to get, Kakarot? You know that this is very tricky. What next god of destruction do you want to meet next? Goku says, There's a very specific universe that has already brought us big problems for a long time. If it weren't for the Kaioshin in the past, Trunks' timeline would remain intact. Vegeta looks at Goku and speaks. Hmm, <clears throat> Zamasu. Goku teleports straight to Universe 10. Goku arrives at the planet of the Kaioshins and sees Goasu. Goasu looks at Goku and speaks. Uh, Mr. Goku, what are you doing here? Do you have any pending chores with the 10th universe? Goku looks at Goasu and responds. <laughs> chores. Mr. Goasu, I need to find the god of destruction of your universe. I fell into a trap set by all the gods of destruction. And we all decided that we have to deal with the gods because they are making drastic decisions about mortals. I would not allow this to happen any longer. And I will wipe out one by one who turns against my way. Frightened, Goasu says. 
Uh, is this really the Lord Goku of Fort Zamasu? Why are his ideals so different from before? Is it because of everything that happened when he was fighting Zamasu? Goku begins to reflect. If we stop to think about it, from the beginning, Supreme Beings have always caused trouble to mortals, koasu -san. We try to live in peace all this time. But as a whim of Zamasu, he believed that mortals were the fault of God's perfect creations. This was already complicated, but after that he, not satisfied, changed the timelines and stole my body, killed my family. All this for the obsession of power. To want to become an even stronger guy. He even managed to destroy all the planets in my universe, and alone. If it weren't for Xenosama, he would have dominated every other timeline. This all happened because of his connection with his universe, Guasu son If he was the current Kaioshin of this universe, it would be okay. Because there would be no more God of Destruction. But things are different. His god of destruction at no time was watching what the very being who would have his life linked to him was doing. At that moment, Goasu had noticed that the son Goku that was in front of him, it was not the same Goku that had gathered information in the past and helped to end the threat of Zamasu. Goasu realized that even though Goku had a calm soul and heart, he felt that something was causing his body to become agitated and he was going after more power. Goasu starts to think. <clears throat> Zamasu with the body of Goku Black was never able to use all the power of the body of Lord Goku. That's because he did not have his Saiyan gene completely. Unlike a fusion that combines the two powers, Zamasu was only in the body of Lord Goku. The point is that now the powers that are being emanated by Lord Goku here makes things more complicated. Goku angry says. goasu I'm sorry, but if you don't tell me where your god of destruction is now, I'll have to kill you directly and consequently you will be destroyed. Goasu gets scared watching. Meanwhile in Universe 7 on the planet of destruction, Vegeta teleports to the planet of destruction and sitting on the rock starts talking to Whis. Mr. Whis, all that is happening right now seems to be madness. A few days ago, we were living a peacefully until the moment the Gods of Destruction decided to take Kakarot as a target. They should know that Kakarot is not just anyone to mess with. Even more so, when his loved ones are threatened. I myself have been proof of that. Whis looks at Vegeta and says, It means that you and Mr. Goku were once enemies. Vegeta responds, At that time! I was sent to dominate the Earth and bring Kakarot back. In my hand, it would be a very simple task. After I learned of the death of his brother Raditz, everything seemed to be calm. Even more so for knowing about the existence of the Dragon Balls that could bring anyone back to life as long as they didn't die of natural causes. That to me was the true plan to conquer everything and end Frieza. Times later, I defeated Kakarot's friends on Earth one by one. But I knew at that at some point things would get much more complicated. When I fought Kakarot, my powers were greater than his. But he had already done training with the Supreme Lord Kaio. And learned totally different techniques like Kaioken that increased his powers exponentially. And with that, after I was defeated by his friends, that miserable still spared my life. Whis begins to observe and speaks. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Mr. Goku really is a fascinating being. But where are you going with all this, Mr. Vegeta? At that moment, Vegeta says, <clears throat> I mean, the Kakarot will not stop until he gets what he wants. I don't know what you've done to him, but he will go out on his way to wipe out all the gods of destruction, one by one, to create balance in his form. Whis is startled and says, Oh, this will really make me want to see the outcome of this story. Back to Universe 10. Goku raised his key more and more in front of Goasu. Goasu was scared to death. Goku says, If you don't talk, I'll take care of it myself now, Goasu-san. At that moment, a presence appears and says, don't need to look for me anymore, Son Goku. I was waiting for you. A great pressure of energy is created. Ramush, 
the god of destruction from universe 10 appears. Ramush says, I had no intention of letting him alive. Let's start. Goku smiles and says, I've been waiting for this moment. Goku faced the god of destruction of universe 10. Ramushi, the god of destruction from universe 10, finally appears when Goku was scaring Gowasu. Gowasu says, Romushi sub, you came here and noticed Son Goku's powers! Romushi says, Let's. Oh, if it's not Son Goku here, I've been waiting for you this long. I knew the first universe you would want to come is Universe 10. It looks like Beerus wasn't able to eliminate him. Because of you, almost all universes were destroyed, Son Goku. Your naivety of believing that you can play with Zeno-sama whenever you want causes great catastrophes to be created. My universe never had very powerful warriors, that's true. In this way, a tournament of strength, a tournament of power, as it was in the tournament of power, it was obvious that it would be suicide for everyone. This is unforgivable. I want to settle my score with you ever since that Son Goku. Goasu just stares. At that moment, in a great speed, Goku hits a punch in the face of the God of Destruction of Universe 10. Make him fly kilometers away. At that moment, Goku says, You talk too much. Get out of my face. Scared, Goasu says, What? With just one hit? Goas was scared by what he saw and what he said in his thoughts. This is completely impossible. I learned that in the Tournament of Power, Son Goku showed unimaginable powers and managed to defeat several warriors. But he also awakened skills that even the God of Destruction have a lot of difficulty to perform as the Ultra Instinct itself. This is even more powerful. How could a mortal reach this level? <laughs> Zamasu was envious of Son Goku's powers. It seems that he knew that Son Goku's body could reach unimaginable powers, but I remember that Mr. Goku's personality was totally different from what he is today. He was calmer, much calmer. Not that now he doesn't be pure in your heart, but your senses of justice seems to be speaking much louder. What do you really aim for, Sir Goku? Goku, with a serious look, starts to keep. Come on! I know I haven't defeated you yet. Romushi rises with his purple color key and starts to rumble every Kaioshin planet in Universe 10. Romushi says, oh, Son Goku! <laughs> Indeed, that power is incredible. So the rumors were true. You managed to master the Ultra Instinct. Know that there are few gods of destruction who are able to master this skill. But that doesn't matter. I will solve it with you based on brute force! Ah! Universe 10's God of Destruction begins to increase his powers in an exponentially greater way. Goku watches and speaks. As expected, he actually manages to get stronger. I will not remain like this. Ah! Ah! The two begin to clash their fists. Goku throws several punches at Romushi, who receives the punches from the Saiyan of Universe 7. But even receiving the blows, he continues to stand. Romushi says, Come on, Goku! Show me what you're really capable of! Is that all you can do? Ah! Romushi, upon receiving Son Goku's blows, begins to increase his Akayashin strength even more and in the blink of an eye lands a big punch on Goku's belly. Goku feels the punch of the God of Destruction. He screams. Ah, 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 what power was that? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it was an even greater potency than Mr. Beerus. <laughs> Ramushi says. Give up, son Goku. You have no chance of winning. Goasu watches and says. It seems that Romoshi's son is using his Akai fists. This skill is very powerful. At any moment he can defeat Son Goku like that. Long ago, it was said that Romoshi's son's Akai fist was capable of defeating any god of destruction. 
Now I can see that this is really true. It seems that his plans will not come to Frunun with Goku. At that moment, Goku stands with his head down in front of the God of Destruction from Universe 10. Goku starts to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I already understand your fighting style. <laughs> you can't concentrate all the Hakai energy and activate the Hakai transformation. So your body can only concentrate the energy in one punch. <laughs> no matter how strong that punch is, if you miss, you're vulnerable until you recover. Ramashi looks scared and says, What? Impossible! How did you find that out? Goku activates Ultra Instinct. Ramoshi screams and speaks. Don't play me, son Goku! Goku with the mastery of Ultra Instinct begins to dodge all of Ramoshi's attacks with great ease. Goku begins to reflect how he behaves. I've already managed to analyze how he behaves. He moves with quick attacks, but when he creates his Hakai energy, his speed is reduced to land the punch. Since he can't fully activate Hakai form, I'll have to do it all or nothing attack. Since he can't fully activate Hakai form, I'll have to do an all or nothing attack. Hmm. Hey, God of Destruction of Universe 10, get ready! This will be my final attack! Superior! Dragon! Fist! Ramushi watches and speaks. <laughs> Want to decide this in one attack? Come on then! Hakai Fist! Universe 7. Vegeta was talking to Whis. Perhaps the biggest difference between me and Kakarot has always been in techniques. When Kakarot fought with me, in some moments I had more strength than him. He is a martial artist, and as it, had extremely powerful techniques. When he activated the Kaioken, he managed to raise his power to an entirely higher level. It was something incredible. His power surpassed mine exponentially. Even though Martin Buu was much more powerful than us, at the moment we were supposed to destroy him, Kakarot managed to use the technique mastered by Lord Kaio who passed it on to him. Kakarot used the Spirit Bomb. After the defeat of the demon Majin Buu, we still had another extremely powerful enemy. A demon that did not think and only caused destruction everywhere he went. Whis watches and says, Ho oh, ho ho ho! Don't tell me that after you defeated the Majin Buu, you faced an even incredible more powerful enemy, Mr. Vegeta. Vegeta says, Hirundagon, the demon who could only be stopped by the touch of Tapion's harmonica. An ancient warrior who gave the Z-sword to my son Trunks. After that happened, things were complicated. None of the warriors of the planet Earth were able to defeat him. Not even Gohan, who was considered the strongest warrior who had released the mystical powers. And not managed to raise his power to the maximum. At that moment, the only one who was still standing was Kakarot. After Kakarot has no more resources to fight, and at that moment it is totally unfeasible to carry out a spirit bomb, Kakarot used an extremely different technique. The Dragon Fist. This attack completely obliterated the dragon. Whis is impressed. Vegeta concludes. At that time, Kakarot only possessed Super Saiyan 3. I wonder what this technique would be like with Kakarot's current powers. Back to Universe 10. At that moment, the two fists clash between Goku and the God of Destruction of Universe 10. At that moment, Romoshi says, It's impossible for you to beat me, Son Goku! Goku remains serious. Goasu doesn't believe what he sees. In a blink of an eye, a silver dragon begins to appear over Goku's body, and the dragon begins to swallow the god of destruction of Universe 10. Ramoshi says, What? Impossible! Arr, you miserable son Goku! The dragon-shaped fist pierces the god of destruction of Universe 10, causing his body to explode. 
Goku in his Ultra Instinct stage says, <sighs> You fought well. Too bad I was your opponent. Now, I will recover my energies and attack the next Hakaishin. You will know really who I am. I am Son Goku from Universe 7. Battle between Goku from Universe 7 and Ramoshi from Universe 10. The winner is Son Goku. At that moment, all the gods of destruction notice Ramoshi's absence. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposed it in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe yet to the channel, and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.